Hello, so Jonathan Johnson here today working with um, Windows Server 2008. Today we're going to be doing an activity on activity 1-5 which is adding the file services role and Windows Server backup feature. Time required for this activity is about 15 minutes but it may, it may not take that long. So your first step we're going to be down here, we're going to go down and we're already logged in so I don't have to log in but first you would have to log in your server but since we're already logged in we don't got to worry about that. And then we're, um, we're going to click start right down here in the bottom left corner. Then go over. And we're going to find. We're going to click service. Excuse me. We're going to click server manager right up here at the top, and it pulls up the server manager screen where you can uh, add and add and uh, take out roles. In the left pane of the server manager console, we're going to click roles. So right here we click roles and it pulls up roles on the summary zero of 16 installed. And we're gonna, and then we're going to click add roles in the right pane. So right over here, right over here it says add roles. We're going to click that. The add roles wizard starts. So that this is the server manager waiting to refresh. Yada. Okay. Now we're at the add roles wizard that started. So in the in the before we in the before you begin window, we're going to review the information and click next. So this is the, before we click next, we're going to review this, and before you continue, verify that the administrator account has a strong password. Okay, I already did that. Network settings such as static IP address are configured. Okay, we did that. The, the la latest security updates in the Windows are installed. We've done that. No, we made sure that's now. We're going to go next. Okay, we're going to click the file, click the file services role, and then click next twice. So file services role right there. We check that. Then we're gonna click next, and then click next again. Now we're gonna choose to install the default file server and click do not add any role services at this time. So we're gonna choose to install the default file server. One second here. All right. Now we have file server selected. We're not going to choose any more of these. Now we're going to click next. Okay. Regular default file server install. Now it's going to initialize installation, and then it will install. Then we're going to click close when the file services role is installed. So I'm going to put this on pause for a second because this might take a little bit. All right. We're back. It's done. Now we're going to close this window. Are we close that? In the left pane of the server man manager console, we're going to click features. So right over here, we're going to click features. Then we're going to click add features in the right pane. The add features wizard is going to start. So click add features. Now the add features wizard is up. So we're going to click the Windows Server Backup. So we got to find Windows Server Backup. Windows Server Backup Features, right there. Okay, now we got that. We're going to click Next. Alright. Now to review the, the settings, we're installing um, the Windows Server Backup Features. In case something crashes, you know, it all gets backed up. That's always handy to have for more than just server. And it's handy for everything. Phones, everything. TVs. Especially if you lose your TV shows like an old lady or something. Soap operas. So... Windows Server Server Backup Features. Windows Server Backup will be installed. We're going to click Install and close it when it's done. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause. It might take a few minutes here. Alright, welcome back. Now we are going to, um, now we see that it is installed. The following is installed, which is the backup. So we're going to close that and go back to this string. In Server Manager, we're going to verify that the file services role and Windows Server Backup Feature are installed. So, Go to roles. See, it says one of 16 installed. File services installed. Right there, role status. File services is one of 16. Features, one of 35 installed. Windows Server Backup. Okay, so now both of those are on there. And um, that's all I have for you on the video of 1 uh, 5 adding the file services role and Windows Server Backup feature. You can add all kinds of different features and um, roles on this. Wi-Fi rolls, um, 
all kinds of add-on desktop features, all kinds of help features to help you get through things faster, shortcuts, everything. The objective of this activity was to install the file services role and the Windows Server Backup feature using Server Manager, which we did. So that's all I have for you on this video, and I hope you learned a little something about the I learned a little bit something about adding file services role, at Windows Server Backup features, and also what Startup Wizard will do. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.